Hello everyone and welcome back to another 10% science KSB hard mode. Don't ever fucking do that again. Okay, so I read everybody's comments and everybody voted unanimously for the Terrier engine. Apparently we can get about 30 plus science per biome and the Terrier engine will help us achieve that even better than before. Perhaps two at the same time, we don't know. Also, the larger fuel tank would be kind of nice. It'll lower part count, and as fuel tanks get bigger, they actually become more condensed. Don't believe me? Let me show you. So, two FLT100 fuel tanks equal the same amount as one FLT200 fuel tank. Notice how it's more condensed. And of course, two FLT200 fuel tanks equal the same amount of fuel as one FLT400 fuel tank. Are you seeing a pattern here? Now, sadly, the weight doesn't change at all because 0.5625 times 4 equals the same amount as the T400 fuel tank. So the weight doesn't change, which is, uh, well, magic. But the size dramatically changes. This will help, help us make tighter, better looking spacecraft. Now, sadly, we do not have, uh, like, little tiny little micro reaction wheels to help us with control but you know we haven't been using them even without the terrier so there you go just make it work now we'll keep this first stage because it actually does very well and uh oh wait no we're not going to keep this first stage we've got a new fuel tank ah we got a ah, ah, ah. never mind Yeah, look at the difference that the Terrier makes compared to the Reliant. Reliant gives you about 3,000 Delta V in the Terrier. It gives you 3,700. Yeah.
Well, shit. We're overweight. Fuck. I was kind of hoping to turn this into mostly a first stage that would get the entire payload into orbit, but not today. Okay, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Actually, I put a probe core in here in order to test it without Kerbals. Now, the problem that I'm seeing is that this mother sucker costs almost 70,000 Kerbal bucks. That's a lot of money. So obviously, we can only make maybe one or two test flights, and that is it. Look, we're so close to the maximum weight that I can't even put on a freaking stability enhancer. Uh, it's going to be like old school. Just put it right on the runway. What the fuck? Oh no. This means that we probably can't even put the Kerbals on board. Shit. No, as soon as I put the Kerbals on board, we are overweight by 0.226. <laughs> okay. I'll bring some more fuel out of it. There we go. Now, the only problem I see with this test is that the Stay Putnik probe does not follow prograde, if I remember correctly. So we're going to lose a lot of Delta V on the way up. Lovely weather we're having. Expensive test flight in five, four. Oh, we don't even have SAS. Well, sadly, that's all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like, and if you loved what you saw, consider subscribing. We also have a membership program. If you become a member, you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. But I am all out of time, and there's no way I'm going to launch that thing without the ability for SAS. I do not feel like dancing around the keyboard, constantly hitting the WASD keys in order to keep this thing straight. Not happening. Love you all, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. I think it's going to work just fine. I don't, I don't mind putting a test pilot in there. I'm actually very confident in this particular design, so we'll find out.